Yo, what's up? It's your boy Mish GT coming in, and today we're gonna do an update on the Lexus GS350. So let's talk about what's going on, what been happening in the last week, and I got good news and bad news. So let's talk about the good news. Let's get inside the car. Let's talk about the good news. What's going on? All right, y'all. So the good news with this car is I was finally able. Hold up. Let me see if I can do it. Let's see. Oh, oh, you got it to work. I got it to work. What the hell? I finally got it to work, man. Oh my gosh, bro. Finally got it. So let me tell you guys what happened. So I decided, like, bro, I bought two different radios. None of them work. So I decided to send them all back and decided to start doing a diagnostic and just checking every freaking fuse. And can you believe? This fuse right under the dashboard, which is the 7.5 ACC fuse. I was, you know, reading a lot of forms and stuff, and basically they all were saying go to this fuse. Of course, I went to this fuse, and the fuse is no good. Look at that, it's burnt up and everything. And the moment I replaced that fuse, guess what? It works. And then after you know putting the fuse in, of course, I disconnect the radio and everything like that. And after I disconnect the radio, I couldn't get the AC to work. And um, now I'm able to get the AC to work. So after I put the car on, I'm able to get fan. And the AC do works. You can hear the fan. And I could turn on the motor, but you know, the motor is kind of like messed up right now. But I did turn it on, the AC do work. So your boy finally got AC and the radio back, even though it's completely apart right now. I still have the car completely apart, wires everywhere. I'm gonna try to um, wait till I get the engine installed. Then I'm gonna do a complete audio upgrade with this car, okay? I don't know if the sub in the back still work, this is the one that comes with that um, that Supreme audio system from Mark Lerner or whatever it is. Um, so basically, the goal is to get this all replaced after I get the engine installed. So let's talk about the engine. All right, so I was able to find this guy that lived on my block. Um, he also have a GS300, but he basically not a fixed cars he got a nice car his name is c money garage uh, i'm probably gonna try to tag him down in the bottom he's a pretty cool guy he got a nice freaking sweet built gs 300 freaking uh, um um turbocharged six speed swap bro he's going all out so anyway he decided to look at the motor for me for free just to check it out and he told me what i've already knew that the engine is bad so i'm gonna have to do a swap so so right now I'm basically waiting to buy the motor and get it installed. So far in the previous video, like I said before, I found a motor for 1500 and the guy that I found, which is a friend of a friend, he said he would install it for $800. So, so far $2,300 to get this car up and running. The engine still sound bad. Of course, it's my fault. I mess it up so anyway that's what's going on with that so basically your boy been working some overtime and try to fix up this car now that being said now your boy have to start working some overtime at his job trying to get some money try to put damn there 23 2400 dollars into this car and i only drove it for less than 200 miles so what the hell did i learn i learned that i have to be checking the oil on these cars i didn't know that they had a oil consumption but they do so your boy had to be checking on that in the meantime i'm going to be trying to fix my corolla there's nothing really wrong with it it just have an engine check light it's like a fuel system whatever p4 whatever rating uh i think you need a, a, a new fuel regulator or something so i'm gonna start doing that my wife shout out to my wife she gave me a 200 dollars autozone card autozone gift card for father's day so your boy could spend 200 dollars and whatever card parts i need i am gonna buy some new um tools and everything so i can start working on my car a little bit and i'm kind of happy that i almost gave up i'm not gonna lie i almost sold this car i almost put it on facebook marketplace but shout out to my wife once again to just tell me some motivation things that i really need to hear because i just couldn't get nothing right 
and you know what man with some motivation words she was able to motivate me to keep going keep diagnosed keep diagnosing the radio and i was able to figure out the radio was just a fuse and after replacing the fuse now i have um, my radio back and ac which was one of the reasons why i wasn't driving this car much anyway so now that i have the radio and the ac installed now it's time to focus back on the motor and your boy is going to be doing that so right now i'm going to text the guy tonight to find out when can he um possibly um, install the motor and then I'm just gonna order it and have it delivered to his house this guy is a technician he worked for Lexus so I have a certified Lexus mechanic that's gonna install the motor for me so hopefully we don't have any problem and we could get the car back on the road after I get the car back on the road the next thing we'll be doing is cosmetic upgrade I do bought a lip that I did not install I have a front lip I did not install yet because I'm waiting on the motor to get installed and then we're gonna go suspension so the suspension is bad when i bought the car it's pretty bouncy and your boy's gonna go coilovers plus i kind of want to get rid of all the freaking you see this freaking right here all that i don't like that space you feel me so i'm gonna get all of that lower down probably do an inch probably do two inches front and back just to get rid of the space and the car stackly look better when it lowered to the ground and then i'm gonna get some swear bars and stuff like that just make sure it handle right and um now the paint i don't know what i want to do yet if you guys know anybody in miami that's good on rap please let me know i'm thinking about going white or red okay i'm trying to have a theme here i do love white cars my corolla is white and i was thinking about keeping that white too so if you guys have anyone in uh, Miami that's good with paint or wrap let me know some prices down below how you know wrap this car white or paint this car white or red I don't know yet I ain't decide yet but basically I'm trying to do that um, anything else that I need to upgrade uh, right now nothing much so oh and the audio of course still gonna try to get the audio do and after i get the audio done man i'm just gonna be riding around and go to you know car meets and go to car and coffees and you know hopefully hang out with the gs king i i i went on their um, facebook forum so hopefully i can get on the gs king and meet up with them in miami you know see what type of setups they have and just have more ideas you know what i'm saying but anyway that's just the update on this car what's going on because i want you guys to feel like i'm not shooting videos and i'm not you know like i fall off the face of the earth because my car is not working that's not the case i'm working in the background trying to get things done having a youtube channel it's crazy because like it gave me like responsibility to try to get things done on time that way you guys don't feel like i'm just falling off just making a video once every other month or two so i'm trying to keep the week upload at least i'm trying to do one video per week even if it's just an update video like this i'm just trying to continue to keep the content going i do want to start a little segment called car talk or in the car talk discussion whatever so there's a lot of controversies going on around um youtube and a lot of youtubers are saying certain things about other youtubers and i feel like that'd be good to content if i just talk about it myself just give my two cents on it so yeah so that's what's going to be going on and if you like this video guys don't forget to like subscribe you know what I'm saying? And hit the notification bell, man, and get your boy up there because we're on our way to 1,500 subscribers. And the goal is to get 2,000, man. If I could get 2,000 before my birthday, my birthday is in October. So the goal is to get 2,000 subscribers before my birthday. And I'm going to try to let that happen. So, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and share your boy's video. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace out. Woo!